Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Realistic Hustle Lily. I am Lily Young and thank you for watching. Please be so kind and hit that like button and subscribe and we're gonna have a good time because you know what? It was a lot, a lot of shade. From these Real Housewives of uh, Beverly Hills, episode 13, season 11, these helped us in Erica. But I must say, Giselle, I mean, Garcelle and Sutton were the MVPs for this episode. This episode, Garcelle and my girl, Sutton, brought it. So let's get this thing started. It's episodes 13, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Seizing Grillings. Mm. So it started back off where the ladies they are discussing, uh, Erica. And Lisa is running her mouth. And the only thing that can come to my head when Lisa running that those blowfish lips is to shut up, Lisa. Shut up. And um, and with Lisa Renner, I honestly believe this is my opinion because everything in this video is alleged for entertainment purposes purposes only. And my opinion, my opinion is with Lisa Renner and the way she's taken up for Erica, I honestly do believe that. She's in on it too. Uh, the word on the curve is that Lisa was loaned $5 million by Erica. I don't know if it's true because I'm not around those ladies, but that's the word on the curve or word on the street, whatever you want to call it. That's what's being said, okay? And they all talking everything and... um. Dorit is talking about how Tom pretended about, you know, he remember they showed flashbacks when he was talking about, um, it doesn't matter. You don't take money from your clients and you just only, you, uh, you know, he's in it for just doing the good and, um, people should be in it to do good. That's all lies was coming out of Tom with Gerardi's mouth, Gerardi's mouth because he been taking money for over 10 years, allegedly, probably longer. But let Erica tell her it's because um, he has an uh, illness and it's causing him to do these things. All is lies. All of that is lies. He's stealing because he wants to steal. It's that simple. I'm not taking up for Erica. No. Wrong is wrong. And you don't steal from people. And you stole from people that cannot help themselves. Burn victims. Uh, widows. Um, orphan children. There's no way around this, Erica and Mr. Girardi. No way around it. So Tut Sutton says she um she she took notes on Tom, and she knows that he stole a lot of money. And Sutton says she believes the money is gone. I don't believe the money is gone, you guys. I'm not buying it. I don't believe it. I honestly do not believe the money's gone. I believe somebody's hiding the money because where did $80 million go? I know she shops a lot. He been working. So there's some money somewhere. Give it to the victims. They are suffering. Erica, you and Mr. Girardi, bye. We don't care what happened to you. We care about the victims, okay? And um, Sutton was stating also that um, Erica's ignorance is not an excuse. If you're going to be ignorant or blissful, smart or blissful, which one it is, Erica? And I want y'all to notice that the same exact crystal glasses they had at the Christmas dinner, I have those crystal glasses, real crystal glasses. Uh, I'm not rich. Those ladies rich, but God bless me. I have a lot of beautiful crystal. Um, all I want to drink out of is crystal wine glasses. Even when I go to restaurants, I ask them, do they have crystal wine glasses? But a lot of time they don't. They just have regular wine glasses, and I'm cool with that. 
But in my home, I like to have crystal. Um, Sutton also stated about Erica deflecting. She has been doing that the whole time. I noticed since, since we began this season, she has been doing that. And then Cal said she would be there for Her Erica through the hard times, but not for the BS. She said for your divorce, for you losing money, but not for taking money from victims. Ain't nobody down with Erica's BS, but we're going to learn as this go on that um, Cal is a coward. Dorit is a coward. They talked all that smack about what they going to say to Miss Erica, and they froze, like frozen. So um, I honestly do believe that Cal knows that Erica is lying. I think they all know. They know. Trust me, they know. We know. My pain about is that Erica knew about everything that's going on. And she just crying crocodile tears. Those tears are not real. She is a evil ice princess. I don't care how anyone put it. You and your husband are wrong. Give them their money. You're taking uh, private jets and everything. You can pay these people their money. Erica's full of S-H-I-T. So, uh, Garcelle is sitting down. We had a scene where they show Garcelle sitting down having dinner with her family. Her son is there that was once on drugs with his, um, I don't know if it's his wife or girlfriend, I can't remember. Sam, where her, they have four kids. Well, she has three children of her own. He has a son with her, a baby that's with her. So, now does she have four baby daddies? Hmm. I'm questioning that too. Sam already had three beautiful children when she met Garcelle's son. She now has four now. Now, if there was a black woman sitting there with four kids with different daddies, I don't even know if um, Bravo would have, would have had it on television, to be honest. I don't. So they're having dinner and Garcelle is sitting there with her family. They're happy. She's happy that her oldest son is there. You can just see she is glowing of joy that all of her family is there. All of her children are there. Her grandchild is there. And the baby is eating. It was like, um, her son was like, the baby is enjoying the food. And uh, she was like, yeah, she's enjoying granny's food. And the two twin boys call her grandma. She said, uh-uh, not grandma. <laughs> that was funny to me because I get what Garcelle is saying because my daughter just turned 29 on the 17th of this month. Day for yesterday, I guess it is. And she hasn't made me a grandmother yet. I'll be 48 in November. But I, I'm not a grandmother. So when I become a grandmother, I don't think I want to be called granny or grandma. I want to be called Glamma. Oh, the baby can call me Lily, but I don't think I'm going to let it call me Lily. But that grandma, that ages you. No, I get what Garcelle is saying. And so uh, Dorit, the dingbat, is getting glammed up, getting her weave extensions put in. So let me tell you something that really bothers me about them gals. Black women get talked about all the time. You see all this hair? This real hair. Long, beautiful, real hair that God blessed me with. But these white ladies, just about every last one of them on the show, wear weaving wigs. Lisa ran off with those ugly wigs. Y'all, we gotta pray for her in those wigs. But anyway, Dorit getting all dolled up, getting her weaving extensions in. And it, it just baffled me how they would talk about the Atlanta housewives with so much fake stuff, fake hair and wigs, when these ladies on Beverly Hills Housewives got a head full of wigs and weaves. And I'm sitting here a black girl, black woman, with a head full of long, beautiful hair. Hair is so long. That's why y'all need to get my hair growth oil. You see that back there? Queen Lily hair growth oil. Get you some hair. 
But anyway, Dorit getting dolled up, glammed up with a glam team. Uh, Cal calls and um, they're talking everything about Erica. And it's she's Cal says that Teddy is going to be there. And Dorit acts like she's excited about Teddy, but nobody really cares for Teddy. Nobody. But then they start, you know, talking about Cal mentions that Teddy and Erica is coming. And then she was stating that she not sure is you know for sure if Erica's gonna come or um, whatever. Then uh Cal says she's going to Okay, they're at Cal's house and they're showing her with the people that did the catering. I'm sorry. Well, the people that did the catering and um she's she says she's gonna pretend that she cooked the food, which Cal didn't cook that Christmas dinner. But if she want to pretend, okay, <laughs> then pretend. Because the turkey looked dry anyway. It had no season of flavor. It just looked dry. I didn't taste it, but I can tell. She said she's going to pretend she cooked Christmas dinner. And she also stated that she's a Jew now. And right after that, she started speaking Spanish. So she's also a white lady. She's now Jewish now. She says she's Jewish. And she's speaking Spanish. You go, Cal. Do you? Hats off to you. So Garcelle arrives to Cal's house and she's dressed. When I first saw what Garcelle had on, I didn't like it. But when I went and watched the video, watched the uh, show a second time, I actually like it. When I first saw it, I was like, it's a clown outfit. Garcelle, come on now. But maybe that's just her style. But the more I looked at it, I realized it's actually couture. And people that don't know couture, they're going to hate her outfit more than anybody. But the more I looked at it, I actually grew to like it. I did. Because if y'all want me, I'm going to tell y'all what I originally put. I put uh, Garcelle arrives to cows dressed like a clown. I'm sorry, Garcelle. It's a no. Um, but then once I watched the um, show again, I actually liked uh, uh, attire. She looks nice. It's couture because you had to think in the mind of couture. That's what it was. Uh, so her and Cal have some uh, champagne and they cheers to each other and they talking and so on. Look like the ladies getting along. They're getting along very well. Um, so Teddy arrives. No one likes Teddy but Cal and them. And I don't honestly think they really just like her. They needed somebody else there to be on their team, facing Erica. So, um, and Garcelle says, why is Teddy here? She's so annoying. Teddy is very annoying. She in trouble herself like Erica, so. Teddy could have stayed home. She's so boring. No one wants to see her on the television. Her attire was horrible. Look like she on a sundress and it's chilly outside. Girl, bye. Then Lisa arrives. Then Dean back, Dorit, the dumb one. I think Dorit is dumb. Um, um, her husband and her are so strange to me. PK is seen to be more around Boy George than he is around her. I often wonder, allegedly, if she is PK's beard, beards have, they make babies too. It's just something strange about them. Then um, last week when um, she called her husband and he was with boy George, it was so strange to me. I don't even know how to explain it, but it was so weird. PK comes off a little feminine to me, which is nothing wrong with a man lo loving men, but he has a wife. Because I'm like for equal rights. But it's just that I don't like if a man is gay and he pretends to be straight. I'm, I don't like it. That's just my opinion. I love everyone. I, have, I, I like to be around all types of people. I love my gays. But don't pretend to be something that you're not. It's not fair. So, um, the Rita the Dean back arrives. And because she's such a Dean back, she can't even open the door. And uh, Cal's like, Dorit, open the door. 
It wasn't locked. Everybody else had no problem coming in. But Dorit gets there and she can't open the door. Really, Dorit? She'll wear you down with her stupidity. So Kathy came looking beautiful. Um, I thought she looked okay. They um, do flashbacks. They show Kim um, talking about chicken, chicken, chicken. I don't know what that was about. That's, maybe that's something with the sisters. But it's not of my culture. It was kind of corny and whack. But I do kind of miss Kim because she gave us a good laugh. A good kiki. That's Kim to get good cookie. But, um, so, uh, Crystal arrives looking stunning with her black mink coat. When I tell you that coat was gorgeous, I want me a black mink like that. Just like that. I do. But she looks nice and she said that her husband dressed her, which I was shocked to hear that her husband dressed her. But she don't normally be revealing. So she showed a little bit. And Garcia was letting her know, like, oh, girl, you, you know, you're looking good. You, who you got a little bit out there, you know? So Crystal comes in and she's looking nice in a black, beautiful mink coat. Then Sutton with her beautiful green dress comes in the door. I like her dress a lot. Then Lisa. I don't like Lisa Rona. And every time I gotta talk about her, it when I have to talk about her, it is really irks me. It's like when I have to talk about Ashley from the Real Housewives of Potomac, I don't want to talk about Miss Ashley. Those two. Who fix it, Jesus? Fix it. Them helpers with the wigs and the weave and they white and claim that only black people wear wigs and weave. Ooh, and I'm a black girl saying with very long hair. And I'm black. But Miss Lisa Rena, please shut up with us. She said, um, ladies, uh, she's going to be coming. And you know they're talking about uh, Erica coming. And she was like, y'all got to remember, it's innocent until proven guilty. It's innocent until proven guilty for white people. Black people, that doesn't work. The cops will come for you. They're going to put you in handcuffs. They, they ain't told you why they put you in handcuffs if you black. You go into handcuffs. You don't even know why. Because you're black. White people do something. They don't even get arrested for a long time. So it's not innocent until proven guilty for us. That's for white people. That's why Tom is not locked up and Erica's not locked up. Because they know what they have done. And the, the, the law know what they have done. But it's white privilege. Simple as that. I'm not asking anybody to agree with me. That's my opinion. It's a fact. Innocent and proven guilty does not work for my beautiful black people. It does not work for us whatsoever. It's working for Tom and Erica, though. So Erica comes in and she, you know, they all greet her and everything. Uh, she comes in with a headband on and that long, beautiful blonde weave, a wig, a half wig, whatever they call it, that you just put right in there. And then you can put a headband on. I don't know. I don't know the name of it. But I'm going to say weave. She come in with all that long, beautiful, blind weave. Because Erica has not that long. Um, and she asked for a Coke. And uh, Sutton and um, Garcelle, they was like, well, we don't call it. Cause we call it Coca-Cola. <laughs> um, she comes in. And as soon as she enters, I was like, oh, Mm. Heck, I'm just full of S-H-I-T Coming through the door So they headed to sit down Erica calls Sultan Hampson Handsome, I mean I'm a little exhausted, y'all, because I've been up for a while And um, Erica calling Sultan Handsome Which, you know, that's weird Because I've never heard anyone call A woman handsome Beautiful, pretty, cute Along there, you know, somewhere along there Maybe even exquisite. Okay. So Sutton and Garcelle are discussing Erica. Garcelle said that uh, Erica winked at, winked at her. And then Sutton was like, well, maybe you should go speak to her. You know how Sutton is. You should speak to her. Garcelle, uh-uh, that would be weird. Because she didn't speak to Garcelle. She tried to pay Garcelle dust, honey. No. That ain't happening from, it's not happening. No, that ain't happening. She should have been 
reading Erica and really cussing her out. That's just my opinion. That's what she should have done. So, um, Cal is telling the ladies at the table that she cooked the meal that they're about to eat, the feast that they're about to eat. Um, Cal did not cook that meal. And if you look at their table again, the same crystal glasses they had at the table, I have them as well, real crystal. And I only drink out of crystal, unless I'm somewhere and I can't get crystal. But I like to drink out of crystal wine glasses because I'm a queen. Kyle is lying, telling the ladies that she cooked the food. And they was like, well, did, what did you, did you use syringe in your turkey? And she was like something about something about Hollywood or whatever, Beverly Hills or whatever, because that's, you know, they get Botox and everything. They face she was comparing it to that. Um, so Erica is making a plate of food. Kyle tells her she's, um, she is there for Erica, the good and the bad. But what Erica doesn't know is previously, they just had a sit down, the ladies, and she didn't, didn't, didn't hey, talking about Erica, she wasn't good, was there for the good and the bad. She was only there for the good, because the bad, they woke Erica out talking about her. So the ladies are all uh, eating at the table, table and they cheers. And Erica says, her doctor says she's healthy and that, and that she's overwhelmed and far from done. She said the doctor says she's healthy and she said she's overwhelmed and it's far from done with what's going on with her and Tom. So therefore it must gonna get worse, which we already know that now. But um, and then Sutton asks, um, do you did you get info before do you get info before he's depressed? And Miss Erica said, No, I don't. Um I don't get anything before he is depressed. She's lying. We all know she's lying. She's been lying since the beginning of the season. And I feel like now that we know the things that we know, she's been lying since she's been on the show. And um, Crystal speaks up too as well at the table. Um, Dariq starts talking. And she's not making sense. And it's like everything that she said previously at that conference, or what do you want to call them girls? They had a little meeting. She said that she don't backpedal so much. Like she hasn't said anything already. So, and our girl Garcelle um, says, well, that's not true. That's not what you said the other day. You should have, have seen Doris's face. <laughs> but I was so glad that Garcelle said that because Doris is so fake and corny. And then she tried to backpedal some more and was talking everything. And then they was talking about um, who has spoken because they told her that, you know, they tried to put it all on Sutton. That's what they was doing. They just all double teen on Sutton, everyone itself. I would say Crystal didn't, Garcelle definitely didn't, and maybe Kathy didn't. But the rest of them, they just laid the load all on uh, Sutton, like she's the one. Get her, Erica. She the one start out as talking everything. And uh, um, Dorit was like, well, she the one set up the meeting at my house. She, you know, Sutton the one decided we all need to get the, together and have a talk about you. Oh, God, Dorit. So, uh... Garcelle said, well, she's not the only one because uh, they mentioned about Sutton talk to attorney. Well, Garcelle said, well, she's not the only one that has talking to attorney. Quite a few of them have. And they cow looking around like. And then they all kind of owned up to they have talked to someone for advice to reset her husband. Cal said uh, her friend, I can't remember the lady's name. Her, her her friend's husband, the lady that was on the show before. And 
Sutton says, yes, she has talked to someone because she has to protect herself. And she has every right to. So Garcelle gives her opinion and says, um, she mentioned about her sister had a kidney transplant and something went wrong. And they were suing, her sister was suing the doctors or whoever. And for the longest, the attorney never gave her sister the money and they're fighting for the money now. And she was relating it to, you know, to what Tom is doing. He took the money from the victims. And Garcelle's sister is a victim. So that really rubbed Garcelle the wrong way. And that's a that's like a touchy place for her. That, you know, you would you you and your husband are taken from victims. My sister is a victim. That's what where Garcelle is coming from. And uh, she said, and if he if Tom did this, fuck him. She honestly said it to get a reaction out of Miss Erica, but she's such an ice princess. She didn't break. It's, she is lifeless and emotionless. She has nothing to give of kindness and care. There's no care in Erica because if she cared anything about the victims, she would sell all those jewelry, expensive stuff. And the, even she even said, said, well, the victims will get something before I do. I would be last to get something. Why are you worried about you? It's still about you. That's a narcissistic person. Erica, my opinion, you are being a narcissist because you're thinking of you. And if you thought about the victims, you would get them whatever you have. It's that simple. Erica says Tom is is ill and he doesn't know where the money is. <sighs> yeah, that's what makes her do these reviews because this situation is pissing off the viewers that's watching the show. We're getting aggravated from all of this. It's just like too much. It's too much, too much. I'm telling you, I have a hard time reviewing this, even though this episode was good, but it's very touchy because they're playing in our face. Erica and Tom are playing in our face. It's ridiculous. He walking around pretending to pretending that he has Alzheimer's or whatever they say he has. And then he walking around and let himself go. There's nothing wrong with that man. He's an attorney. He knows what to do to try to save himself with the law. That black eye, that could have been makeup that he was walking around with. He let his hair grow out all raggedy, looking all pale. Just look a mess because he's pretending. And if it's if Erica is not protecting Tom, well, she is protecting him. That's my opinion, allegedly. It's sad if you just walked off and left a sick man. Now that he doesn't have anything, but you got with this old man and married him because he had a lot of money. You didn't have any money. Don't front, girl. You ain't have any money. You claimed you was a go-go dancer. Then you said you um you worked as a uh, waitress, and that's how you met him. Uh, bartender, whatever you said. Girl, please. And nobody is uh, mentioning about the victim. So Garcelle was like, the victims are, uh, are the most important. And even Kathy agreed that the victims are the most important. The most important in this whole situation is the victims. And that's not clicking in Erica's head. That's it's disgusting. It's gross that someone can be this cold-hearted. It's, it's sad. It's ridiculous. Um, Garcelle uh, gets into their ESSs because nobody is saying that it's the victims. She's the only one pretty much brought it up about the victims. And Erica's like, yeah. It, it. She has a hard time saying victims. Go back and watch it. Yeah, it is about the victims. Who said it? No one said it wasn't about the victims. She has a hard time saying victims. That's a narcissist. And uh, Erica is in her professionals. And I guess it's one of the uh, producers are talking to her and saying, you, you know, I'm so proud of you really um, making it through this. And she was stating that... Um, she just needs to stay calm and be calm. There's no use to get all upset. Just stay calm. This is not bothering Erica. She don't have a care in her bone about those victims. Not one 
millimeter of her hair cares about the victims. Even her weave extensions, nothing about Erica cares about the victims. Kathy says the questions are going to be good practice for Erica. And I get what she's saying. She's saying, once you go to trial, boo, oh, this is going to be good practice for you. The way she was getting questioned by um, Garcelle and Sutton. Kathy Wright. Oh, this is training. This is your training wheels right here, boo. When you get on that stand, it's a different thing. It's a different thing, girl. So this is practice. That's what Kathy said. <laughs> um, so they all go back into, I, I think it's the den, I would say, I guess. And they're talking. And Sutton acts dumb to read. Did you throw me under the bus? Sutton, she threw you under the bus, backed up, rolled over you, backing up. Then she rolled back, rolled back over you again. She rolled over you, honey. She threw you under the bus, kicked you while you was down after she done drove over you. She rolled over you, then kicked you some more. That's what the read did. And then she tried to talk in that old fake foreign voice. No. Girl. But Sutton, ain't, Sutton isn't dumb, dumb y'all. She's smart. Dorit is dumb. Sutton has plenty of sense. She knows that Erica's full of it. She knows that Erica's lying. She knows that Erica knows where the money is. Hey, Sutton knows what she's talking about. So the next episode, it will be episode... So this was episode 13. The next episode will be episode 14 then. I hope I got it right, y'all. Yeah, the next episode will be episode 14. I will, will be reviewing that one as well. Um, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Um, as you can see, this is my brand. See that hair growth oil, Queen Lily hair growth oil. If you wanna grow beautiful long hair, Get you some Queen Lily hair growth oil. I am a black woman with long hair. My hair has fallen out over 20 times in my life. And I'll be 48 in November. Um, from people that I would go to to do my hair, beauticians would make my hair fall off. My hair, it wouldn't grow right anymore, you know, because I grew up having hair. And I would let people do my hair and it would just fall out. Uh, either they would want to cut my hair all the time. Um, I used to wear my hair blonde when I was younger. And the bleach would eat my hair up. When I first moved here to Atlanta, this lady did my hair. And she's supposed to give me highlights because I had hair all the way down my back when I moved here. She bleached my whole head when she was taking a fall off. My hair was melting off. And I had to get my hair cut down to this. <laughs> like, I don't know if you can see, but like to that little bit short. I had a little Tony Braxton haircut. Started all over again and grew back. I couldn't leave the blonde alone. But I no longer get blonde, and I learn how to take care of my hair on my own. I mix different oils. I also went to beauty school, so I know something about hair. Uh, my hair growth oil, I use organic cold press oils, um, aloe vera, coconut oil, black Jamaican castor oil, rosemary oil, um, horsetail. Um, you just have to go to my website and check it out. I am lilyyoung.com. You can find my hair growth all on there. I am lilyyoung.com. You see how you spell Lily right there? I am lilyyoung.com. Go to my website. And at the end of the video, I'm going to, uh, put links down in the description. And then I will put, um, a flyer with my website address on it as well. But I always put the links, links down in the uh, description. So you can buy my products. Um, I have my own lipstick line. You see the lipstick right there. That's the Red Lipstick Hustle Lipstick. I have nine different shades and it's all organic. And you can't see the bottom of the uh, banner, but um, it shows one of my books, the Red Lipstick Hustler Beauty Guide. Uh, that too is on my website. Thank you guys for listening in. Thank you for listening. I really, really, really do appreciate you guys. Hit that like button, subscribe. Help me grow my channel. I appreciate you guys. You all are kings and queens. 
continue to strive for the best in life. I always put God first and I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.